मार्च आठ इंटरनेशनल वेमेन डे है पूरे वर्ल्ड में मनाया जाता है और हम नतमस्तक होते हैं उन महिलाओं के लिए जिन्होंने दुनिया में नाम बनाया उसी कड़ी को जोड़ते हुए आज एक इंटरनेशनल पर्सनालिटी हमारे स्टूडियो में आई हैं और वो जा रही हैं अंतरिक्ष यात्रा के लिए 2018 में इससे पहले भी दो महिलाएं एक तो सुनीता विलियम्स वो भी इंडिया से गुजरात से थी उन्होंने स्पेस में यात्रा की और उसके बाद करनाल की बेटी जो थी कल्पना चावला वो भी गई अंतरिक्ष में मगर एक हादसा हुआ 10.6 मिलियन किलोमीटर का चक्कर लगाने के बाद धरती का 252 टाइम चक्कर लगाने के बाद जैसे वो वापस आ रही थी और वो 2003 की पहली फरवरी थी और वो समुंदर की गोद में समा गई अपनी जान खोनी पड़ी मगर इन चीज़ों को देखते हुए उत्साह ख़त्म नहीं हुआ हमारे साथ हमारी ही बच्ची जिसकी गुजरात के साथ लिंकेज है और हमारे गर्व है कि वो एडमिंटन में है वो सेलेक्ट की गई है 2018 में अंतरिक्ष में जाने के लिए और मैं इसके साथ साथ ये भी बताना चाहूँगा कि शौना पांड्या जो कि डॉक्टर बाय प्रोफेशन है और बी तक न्यूरो सर्जन का कोर्स किया उसके बाद इन्होंने पढ़ाई की स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजी की और सेलेक्ट हुई है पूरे कंपटीशन में 2018 में हवा में अंतरिक्ष में जाने के लिए शौना आपका स्वागत है हाय थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी शौना एज आवर स्पेक्टेटर्स आर वाचिंग यू ऑल ओवर कनाडा प्लीज शेयर अ ब्रीफली अबाउट योर पर्सनालिटी एंड व्हाट मेड यू टू गो टू स्पेस um so i have always been interested in space since i was um a young girl um it was something that you know when you know when you're young you say i want to be an astronaut you look at the night sky and say that's where i want to be so it was always an interest of mine and in fact that's what um inspired me to study medicine so i was inspired by the first canadian female astronaut dr roberta bondar who was a neuro ophthalmologist um to go study medicine so i pursued my degree in neuroscience and then um eventually went on to study medicine uh first practicing in neurosurgery but transferring out to finish in general practice so um that's kind of the career path i've taken आप टैकवर्डो में भी ब्लैक बेल्ट हैं और ये सारी चीज़ों को देखते हुए इतनी वेरिड पर्सनालिटी हैं मगर अगर आपकी जगह कोई और होता तो शायद इतनी एजुकेशन परसू ना कर पाता तो कौन सी आपको ये जो लगन थी कहाँ से मिली ये आपको इंस्पिरेशन जो मिली सो वेर डू आई गेट माई इंस्परेशन you know everywhere i look there's something to be inspired by someone to be inspired by and there's you know a reminder that i can be doing more and doing better so at home i have tremendously loving and hard working parents who've been very very supportive the entire way uh, my friends and my personal and social circle is like that and then even um my wider circle of friends they inspire me tremendously when i when i log on to my social media in the morning i'm surrounded by women ceos who are also mothers by neurosurgeons who are also uh, harvard mbas um there is a 16 year old who discovered an asteroid he's from india as well when he was 14 so you know i'm surrounded by overachievers so i always feel like i need to keep up <laughs> a uh, family physician hai aur you are practicing doctor that way you can serve our community far better than going to space um i think there's there's many ways to serve humanity uh definitely i'm very grateful for what i do as a doctor um i'm very privileged that people trust me with their health and with their lives um but even with space you um you have your furthering knowledge your advancing exploration your your advancing science and research and there's a certain amount of risk to it so you are taking that on board as well uh so i don't think the two are entirely separate और देखिए कि अभी 2018 में आप अंतरिक्ष में जाएंगी उससे पहले कि आपको अकेलेमेटाइज किया जाएगा आपकी बॉडी को या आपको कुछ ट्रेनिंग्स दी जाएगी सो दैट यू डोंट फेस प्रॉब्लम वाइल गोइंग टू स्पेस um my missions are a little bit different so with project possum um the mission profile is 20 minutes so there's nothing like long duration space flight and worrying about muscle weakness and bone weakness to worry about at the same time you're subjected to all sorts of changing gravity environments you're subjected up to 6 
gravity, six G forces on your chest. So imagine six times your weight sitting on your chest. It makes it very hard to breathe. Uh, and you're subjected to zero gravity for a short period of time. So the courses that I've done um, and the centrifuge training that I've done ha have all um, subjected me to that to see what it feels like. और कितने मेंबर हैं जो अंतरिक्ष में जाएंगे और आपका क्या मिशन रहेगा क्या आप चंद्रमा पे जाएंगी या आप चक्कर लगाएंगी धरती का um, so my mission will take me to the upper atmosphere. Um, it's a uh, it's place we call the upper mesosphere, where there's a specific type of cloud uh, related to global warming uh, that we want to study. But the height is so great that eventually we'll pass the 100 kilometer line where space begins. And that's where the astronaut designation comes in. Um, that being said, if the opportunity to came up to ever go to the moon or go to Mars, I would 100% be in. How many um, days or months you would spend in space? So with the Possum mission, um, it's only a 20 minute mission profile. So it's very, very fast from beginning to end. You fly out of Alaska and from the get go, you're very focused on uh, getting, operating your instruments, capturing high resolution video, high resolution pictures, atmospheric samples. And keep in mind, you're in a s confined space and a space while well, this is happening, uh, you're subjected to all sorts of accelerations from 6G to 0G. Um, so it is, it is a very focused period of time. That being said, if the opportunity ever came up to do a long duration manned space, um, space mission, I would 100% be there. And you are by yourself in space or you have a team of people working with you? With the current profiles, with the Possum mission, um, we will be taking a suborbital vehicle. Um, the ones that we are looking at right now only ho house two people. So it would be the scientist, which would be my job ostensibly, and the pilot. So two people. So basically, if something goes wrong, it's you <laughs> and, you the co and your pilot. So it would be a small, a small team going up. And you will agree with me, this is, you see, you are playing with your life. And uh, there had been, as I already told my spectators as well, Kalpana lost her life while going for a, such expedition. Are you not afraid of? I think that anything you do in life, there is some sort of risk. Even when you wake up in the morning and you go drive your car, especially in the winters we have here in Canada, you know, you can say there's some risk involved with that. Um, I do a lot of high risk things um, like skydiving, piloting a plane, scuba diving, martial arts. And you have to accept that there is risk, of course, but there's things you can do to mitigate risk. And that's no different in the space world. And when you look at the, the risk reward profile of the knowledge um, that you can bring back and what you can do for humanity versus the risk, I think that it's very, very much worthwhile. Or Jesse Abne Mirkovi, but you are vegetarian. Yeah. So, what would you eat while in space? <laughs> um, anyone who knows me knows that I love three, three or four things. I love sparkling water, I love club soda, I love um, yogurt, I love coffee. Um, that being said, in this, in this mission profile, um, it would be very short, so no time to even think about eating. Uh, for longer duration space flight, anything that's lightweight, nutritious, easy to pack and healthy. And uh, your parents are equally proud as you are doing uh, something extraordinary. But are they happy of you going to space? Um, definitely, they, they like good parents. There's times when they think this is dangerous or, you know, just to settle down. <laughs> um, but uh, they're very, very supportive. You know, when I when I tell them the counter argument of this, you know, I I could be going to space. Um, this is this could really happen. Uh, they're they're very proud. जो गर्ल्स आपकी एज की हैं वो तो अभी शादी करा रही हैं और आप स्पेस में जाना चाहती हैं बट इज योर मैरिज प्लान्स राइट नाउ आई एम वेरी मच फोकस्ड ऑन करियर दैट्स गुड टू नो और देखिए कि एक डिफरेंट फील्ड आपने चुना और वर्ल्ड की पॉपुलेशन 6 बिलियन है उसमें से दो चार ही लेडीज या गर्ल्स होंगी जिन्होंने अपना ऐसे कैरियर बनाया तो आपका क्या मैसेज है जो यूथ इस चीज को सोचता है कि मैं स्पेस में जाऊं या कुछ एक्स्ट्राऑर्डिनरी करके दिखाऊं जिससे एक नाम बने आई थिंक फॉर एनीवन द वर्ल्ड ओवर रिगार्डलेस ऑफ वेदर देयर पैशन इज इन स्पेस और एल्सवेयर इफ दे वांट टू बी एन आर्टिस्ट एन एथलीट अ म्यूजिशियन द एडवाइस इज द सेम जस्ट be focused, be disciplined, study very, very hard, aim to be the best and aim to improve yourself every day. And besides this, I have another question. Our youth is going astray. Mm -hmm. 
people are getting in club culture, people in drug or alcohol abuse, that is affecting very badly our youth or any youth in any part of the country. So what is your message to them? I think that um, maybe things are a little bit overblown. We have we hear the term millennials and it's often in a derogatory fashion. But when I look at the people I'm surrounded by, um, my age or younger, I'm in fact inspired by them. I mentioned earlier that, um, you know, I'm friends with uh, an asteroid hunter from Delhi who's now 16, who discovered an asteroid when he was 14. Um, you know, one of the girls I mentor, I'm inspired by her. She's 20 years old. She's been named to Alberta's top 30 under 30. Um, she's founded TEDx U Alberta. Um, you know, some of the, the younger people on my Facebook have discovered uh, new tests for cancer in the, when they were teenagers. So I don't think they're, that we need to worry about the youth. I think we need to continue inspiring each other and pushing each other. And that's true regardless of age. Today, youth, mothers, fathers and siblings all are watching you over our Harmony TV show. So your, what is your message to them? Um, so first of all, for everyone who's been, you know, sending me messages and good wishes along the way, uh, thank you so much for your support. I do read all the messages. I don't necessarily have time to get back to all of them, but uh, thank you. I have seen them across social media. Uh, my mission to you or my message to you, regardless of, you know, if you're young and aspiring or you're, you're older and ha surrounded by your family is there's always ways to make this this world a better place and there's always different ways in which each person can contribute so uh, whatever your field is whatever your your lot in life is try try to ask yourself how can I make this better um, because there's a lot of work to be done in this world thank you Shona thank you so much